Night Marchers, submitted by Wendy S. In Hawaiian culture, night marchers are frequently mentioned. My friends had told me stories about them, but it wasn't until one fateful night that I really started to believe that they exist. While attending college in Hawaii, I lived in a condo on the north shore of Oahu at Turtle Bay. My roommate and I shared a one bedroom lower floor condo unit that was right on the golf course. Since most of the units around us were vacation rentals, they were vacant and empty for most of the semester. One day, we noticed a couple had moved into the unit right next to ours. We didn't pay much attention though. That same night, we decided to go grocery shopping. As we got back, we entered the main door. And as we entered, my roommate and I saw a shadow walk across the living room. We were really scared, but we got our courage up and slowly walked down the hall, through the kitchen, and finally to the living room. No one was there. We laughed it off and figured we were just stressed with midterms. The next couple of days, weird things happened. Shadows moved. At night, our bed shook. Worst of all, someone would call my name out in the dark. Other creepy stuff happened as well, but the worst had yet to come. One night, I was home alone because my roommate was out with her friends. I was washing the dishes when I felt a hot breath breathe down my neck. My hairs were pointed straight out. If you think that was weird, wait until you hear this. One day, my roommate and I were waiting for two friends to come over when the most disturbing thing ever happened. But first, let me explain how my condo area was set up. We lived in a gated community. There was a main gate, and at the main gate, guests had to press a button to call us. Then we would let them in. After the main gate, the guests could take the elevator or stairs to our condo unit, where there was a screen door and then our actual condo door. Since we were waiting for our friends, we locked the screen door, but we left the actual condo door open so we could see if our friends were approaching. However, before they ever came, the screen door opened and closed by itself. We don't know how it happened because it was locked. Eventually, my roommate and I assumed our friends had gotten past the gate. You see, sometimes you could get past the gate by simply waving your driver's license in front of the sensor. Assuming our friends had gotten in, we called out to them, but there was no answer. We went down the hall to see them only to find out that nobody was there. The screen door was locked and the main door was open. A few minutes later, we got a call. It was our friends. They rung the bell from the main gate so that we could let them in. So who opened and closed the screen door? On other nights, we continued seeing shadows. However, the creepiest thing was that oftentimes I could feel that someone, something, or some sort of presence was behind me. Needless to say, neither of us liked being in the condo alone. Finally, one night, I was taking a shower when I felt the presence right there in the bathroom with me. I couldn't take it anymore and I asked my bishop to bless our condo. After the blessing, the strange incident stopped, and shortly thereafter, the couple next door moved out. To this day, I wonder if the couple moving in disturbed some sort of spirit that lay dormant in the condo unit next to ours. Well, after everything I've been through, I can tell you one thing. I believe in ghosts now. Hey guys, that was our first ever submitted scary story. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing or at the least, pressing the thumbs up button on the video. 
This video took a long time and it would help me out a lot. Big thanks to our subscriber Wendy S for submitting this story. Well, until next time, I'm out.